to hometownstation.com for all the latest and greatest Santa Clarita has to offer. Speaking of the greatest, Woo! Santa Clarita has to offer. <laughs> he is uh, Richard Sherman, and uh, he joins us now. Richard, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me in. Can I? Just, I love that intro. It's my new ringtone now, by the way. I finally figured out. I, my daughter taught me how to use that as a ringtone. I'm very excited about it. Do you, and you, did you like the golf clap as well? Like, I, I took that as a sincerity clap, not oh, a Oh, is that? Clap. Oh, oh, oh. I, and but, it was. And it was, Richard. Don't, don't, it yeah, was don't, 100%. I don't, okay. don't, don't take this away from me. I'm very excited about it. <laughs> Um, hi, it's, hi! Thank you for having me in. I, lo- I love that you guys let me in. Uh, I don't know why, but I appreciate it. <laughs> we usually lock the door, so yeah, I know. Uh, Richard right. Sherman, Radius, Radius uh, Agent. Yeah, that's me. That's you. Tell yeah. me, tell me all about the homes. If you've never met Richard Sherman, I don't understand why. That's yeah. number one. Life or if you've lot. never heard of Richard Sherman, I, again, I don't understand why. Uh, <laughs> but uh, because he's no, and you laugh, but you're legendary in the valley for helping people with their home mortgages. I, I hope so. Thank and, you. That's you know, a very for, nice and thing to say. you know, things from foreclosures all the way to selling their home to that. upgrading to uh, yep. ghost mortgages to you yeah. know, you yeah. name it. Yeah. That's you. Yeah, we we fix problems. We fix problems. I got into real estate a long time ago, and there's I, nothing against those who realtors who just buy and sell and help people do that. There's a, that's wonderful, but there's a, a large part of the industry that doesn't really get serviced, uh, where people are just getting taken advantage of, and I didn't like that, and. So I just rolled up my sleeves some 30 years ago and decided to just get involved and just do it myself. And we've saved a lot of houses, a lot of people, a lot of all over Southern California, primarily in the Santa Clara Valley. But there, I, I, well, I love driving to work because when I drive to work, I think, well, there's a house that I saved and that family's still there because of our work and we do it for free. So if you're having a problem with a mortgage, if you have a forbearance that's come to an end, if you've got a zombie second or if a ghost second, sometimes we have a ghost second where you've got a second that just suddenly reappeared, that sort of thing, give us a call. We'll help you. And we, again, we do it totally for free. We help all sorts of people. We've helped thousands of people out of these problems. I'm known to the banking industry and not well liked but the homeowners love me and that's the point point. and that's the, that is the point um mm-hmm. you my friend can get up in the morning and look at yourself in the mirror no problem can you not uh i usually spend more time on it than i probably should <laughs> to be honest with you because i have other uh, i'm the only guy in the house and so when i get up in the morning even in my own bathroom there's there's my mirror is not my own so I, i'm told I, i'm told every morning no matter like, what time i get up that i'm i'm spending too much time listen i get it i get it i get of course it you do. uh richard what what can we talk about today what, what what's on the docket well i don't come i don't come with the best news um oh, this no. is well well if you've been watching if, if you're paying attention to the markets at all as i've been saying for quite some time um when you hear on the news that the market the interest rate has gone up significantly very quickly it is it means that the market is peaking or has peaked okay. and we're there uh, the interest rate has now gone up to well over 5%. Um, some are saying it's, there's one mortgage company out there that's at 59 today, which I don't think they're doing a lot of mortgages that. But we're well over 55 now, and it's going to keep going up. And considering that just a few months ago we were you know, in the mid-threes, that's a hell of a shock to the system. Let me, let me explain why, though. I, I brought down some number of notes today for this. Um, let's say a homeowner, give you an average homeowner, let's say they owe 500000 on a 30-year fixed mortgage. If they have, let's say they have an interest rate of three and a half percent because they refied sometime during their pandemic, that means their payment is two, uh, twenty-two hundred and forty-five dollars a month, which is well under rental rates in this town and pretty good. And five hundred thousand is a little less than the house is worth, so they're in decent shape. But let's say they sell that house for six fifty, and these are very conservative numbers. If they sell that house for six fifty and they owe five hundred against it, by the time they're through with costs and commissions, that'll give them a hundred thousand dollars to put down on the next house. So right, so we got a we owe, we sell for six fifty, we have five hundred thousand that we owe on the house, we get a hundred thousand out of it, fifty thousand we lose and stuff, and then that hundred thousand goes down on our new house, which we're going to buy for seven fifty. Makes sense so far. So we're buying a house at seven fifty. We put a hundred thousand dollars down, so now our new mortgage payment is six fifty, which is the same amount our old house was worth. Now with a mortgage payment that's gone up by one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, that's thirty percent rise in your amount of in the amount of debt you're carrying, but it's only about a, what do we have here, about a a 12% rise in your purchasing power. But here's the killer, because the interest rate is now five, I did this at 5%, it's actually five and a half now, but even at 5%, you're 1.5% higher. The bottom line to all of this is your new mortgage payment for spending $150,000 more is now $3,490, which is 55% higher, that's 1,200 bucks. So most people who have that house that's worth 650 that they owe 500 on, which two weeks ago they could have sold, bought another one and then just kind of moved and had a nice bigger house and the payment wouldn't have been that bad. Now they're looking at 15% more in, their, in, their, in a purchase in order to spend 55% more in a monthly payment. And that math just doesn't work. So what NAR is already telling us is that 79% of buyers would now, per, sellers rather, would prefer to remodel their houses than sell. 
So what we're looking at is an ugly, ugly economic situation. Most uh -oh. of real estate is governed by supply and demand. Now, what's happened up until now is supply has been retarded because of the uh, pandemics. We've had very low supply, mm -hmm. and demand has been through the roof because very low interest rates. Now we're going to see the converse of that. You're going to see prices start to stabilize and fall, and you're going to see demand drop like a rock. And the problem is what usually counters all of this is more, is more supply. Prices start to, t start to tap out. Supply gets back to normal. Demand starts to get back to normal. Equilibrium is reached. That's not where it's going to happen. What's going to happen in this case is supply is not going to return back to normal because you now have a whole new class of people who refied in the last two years who would ordinarily sell and buy up who will not and should not. You should not take 15% more of a, in a house to pay 55% more in a mortgage payment. That, that's insane. The math is, makes no sense. So you've got now a whole new class of people who are not going to make that move up. Plus, you still have re re uh, low, low supply to begin with. Now, couple all that with dropping demand because the interest rates are going up and they're going to keep going up, and you have a drop in demand at the same time you have a drop in supply. And that is, that's devastating. It's going to be very, very nasty. What do we do? Uh, well, if you haven't refied yet, uh, I, you probably missed the boat, but it's only going to get worse. So if you're looking to do that, do it now. But this is Katie Barr, the tour time. And this is what I was predicting, basically, and everyone was telling me I'm crazy for just before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Now, in fairness, I did not know the pandemic was going to go for two, two and a half years. That's fair. I thought humans were smarter than that. My mistake. Um, but in any case, the pandemic and the Fed keeping the interest rates as low as they have has been horrible. You cannot let prices go up 20% or more in a 12-month period because of low interest rates. It's the price of gas, the price of milk, the price of everything goes shooting through the roof and not raise the interest rate. The interest rate is the bulwark against inflation. To allow inflation to run away because you're worried if you raise the interest rate, it'll hurt other parts of the market, is great if you own a house. It's even better if you've refinanced that house. But if you don't do those things or haven't done those things, you are in big trouble. Now, couple that with all the foreclosures and things that have not happened over the last two years, and this is going to be bad. It's going to be ugly. And I know nobody ever wants to predict the market because you want to stay just behind it or just on it so you look like a soothsayer. But the reality is this. All the economic factors that were there prior to the pandemic are still there. Some of them were relieved because of the run-up in prices. But they're all, they're all wiped out by inflation because wages have not kept pace. Milk has gone up, cost of food has gone up, cost of gas has gone through the ceiling. Wages have not kept pace. So you have all kinds of inflation. You have money that was way too cheap that is now becoming way too expensive overnight. And you, that's turbulence. And that you don't fly well through turbulence. You just don't. I mean, the wheels are going to come off the wagon to some degree. What, all this, what does all this translate into? I think we're looking at a price correction over the next probably 6 to 12 months of about 5%. If interest rates stay below six, okay. If interest rates get over six and stay over six, it's going to be worse. Okay, that's that's the reality. What? If, okay, if I've got questions because uh, just like that, our time is up. So oh, if sorry. I have, if no, 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 <laughs> it's I'm like sorry. no, no look at we need to know the information. Bottom we line need is, to buyer, know. buyers have less buying power, sellers have reasons not to sell, and prices are going to be coming down. Got it. That's the reality. Got it. And if we need your help for any reason. Call me. You will. There are lots of people out there who will need my help for sure because when the economy goes to heck, we get really busy. and We're already really busy. And I can't state this enough. We do this for free. So if you need help, give me a call. If it's a mortgage problem or question, if you're trying to buy a house and you can't manage to get the money together to do it, we give people money to buy houses. If you need to sell a house, we give people money to fix up their houses to sell. And most importantly, if you're in trouble, we will help you for free. And it's just a phone call. Call me. I'm at 661-714-1400. That is my personal cell phone number. I know I get I get very, stuff from everybody about giving that out over the air, but it really is my cell phone number. I don't mind. If you can't get through to me because I do get a lot of calls, just text me. I will call you back as soon as I can. I also do a lot of texting. But, yeah, 661-714-1400, and you can reach me at that number literally 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I sort of consider – I like what I do, so I consider myself as sort of constantly on call. So, so. <laughs> I, I'm, And but, your family loves you for they it. They are not um. as happy about that. That is true. And there are times, like we were just celebrating my daughter's 16th birthday, where we were at dinner and the phone rang, and I went to reach for it in my pocket, my daughter and, and her friends, all in chorus, just went, don't. Like, oh, I'll just turn that off. I'm sorry. You're having that. cake. Was, cake is more not, important right I, now. I understand this group of 16-year-old <laughs> girls is apparently more emotionally intelligent than I am. That's that's perfectly reasonable. Uh, but but we need you. We need you. Richard Sherman Can with a Z. Here? Richard Sherman with a Z. Always a pleasure. Uh, Thank you. Always enlightened by all the information you always give us. Thanks for coming in. We'll Thank see you, you soon. Thank you.